with that down and out of the way, Chris, what is our first main topic today? We are hearing from Brain Teflin. Sad news today about the passing of Rutger Hauer. I know he's done a lot since and enjoyed a remarkable career, but I'll always think of him in Blade Runner. He was indeed the candle that burned brightest. Just wanted to get your thoughts on Howard and his impact. Thanks. John, what do you have to say about that? Yeah, I, I mean, I was really uh, sad to hear yesterday. Apparently, it happened right near the end of the John Campus show yesterday is when official word came out about the passing of Rugger Hauer. Um, I, I mean, look, obviously, when most people think about his career, they'll think about Blade Runner. I mean, and uh, for obvious reasons, one of the all-time classics. However, you guys know... Blade Runner is not my favorite film. I'm not actually a big film of the, I'm not a, I'm one of the only people in the world who's not a big fan of the original Blade Runner. I like Blade Runner 2049 quite a bit, but the whenever I think of Blade Runner, I I think I think of him. I mean, that's the only thing you can do. But I will tell you what. While most people when you ask them, you think of Rugger Hauer, what do you instantly think of? Most people understandably will say Blade Runner, not me. When I think of Rugger Hauer, I think of him and Michelle Pfeiffer and Matthew Broderick in Lady Hawk. Mm. I got a big, and I remember back in the day when me and a couple of friends of mine, we had a house together and Lady Hawk was one of the movies I would play a lot. I mean, we would watch uh, Best of the Best. We would watch that a lot and we would watch Lady Hawk and we were all musicians in the house at the time. So we also watched a lot of uh, Peter Gabriel, one of his concert videos, but Lady Hawk was the one for me. Now, of course, he's done a lot of other stuff and he's done a lot of stuff in recent years too. Like one of the little films that he did that got a lot of people's attention in the indie world was like Hobo with a Shotgun, which got a lot of people buzzing and talking about it. But he just had one of these, he's one of those rare talents that when he was on screen, you knew he was on screen. You know, he had that commanding presence, whether it was his really unique defined look or whether it was that voice of his Whatever it was, Rutger Howard commanded the screen when he was on it. And there's not a lot of performers like that you, that you can point to and say that so definitively that he was just such an obvious presence there. And uh, I was really sad to hear about him passing away, age of 70, which is really far too young. 75 is way too young for this guy to pass away. But anyway, Aaron, you heard about the passing of Rutger Howard. When you think of him, what, what are some of the first things that come to your mind? You know, there's a term that popped into my head as soon as I heard and it's a term that applies to the actor who just has that career that spans for decades and maybe known for one thing or the other because of that particular project's notoriety, but really has had a continuous nonstop career. And that's a journeyman actor. A journeyman mm. actor is really someone, I mean, you have to also remember, Rucker Howard did not like make his debut in Blade Runner. He had been a right. working actor for well over a decade prior, You know, not, not just in America, but also um, I believe he's native Danish. I believe. I think so, yeah. Yes. And so Blade Runner was just one stop on his train of success as a long-term working actor. And I think that if you ask the average American, you know, do you know who Rucker Hauer is? A lot of people won't know the name or would not necessarily be able to say, oh, he was in this project or that project, but he's had a substantial career and made an incredible impact and has really been someone that a lot of actors and filmmakers can look to as a stable, you always know this person is gonna do the job when they go on the screen. Chris, you heard about this. What were your reactions? Oh, man. I, I didn't see Blade Runner until much later in my life, post-college and everything. Uh, so I first got introduced to him via Batman Begins and Sin City. Right. And his role in Sin City, he is not in there for long, but whoo. Well, yeah, what an impact he oh makes Oh, my gosh. It. And as, you know, a Catholic kid, everything about that was terrifying. <laughs> um but he was an incredible actor. And then getting introduced to his work later on was really, really impactful. And I think, well, a whole lot of people probably don't know who he is, like you were saying, Aaron. I think he's one of those guys, you know, like that documentary, the, the I, What Do I Know You From? I think it's called like Those Guys or That Guy. And it's somebody who you can look at and say, I know I've seen you in something. And he always disappeared into his roles. And I think that is just a huge testament about his craft and his ability. He'll be sadly missed well guys listen when you think of Rutger Hauer and, and you know obviously it's a, it's a sad thing but it's also a day to celebrate the career that he has and, and the films and the memories that he's given us forever when you think of Rutger Hauer what immediately comes to your mind is it one of his older films is it one of the more recent things jump down to the comment section and leave your thoughts there all right